Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and we're on our permadeath playthrough. This is going to be our next episode. So we're going to see what we're up to here. It looks like we got a lot of secondary missions we're going to be getting to. We want to get everything done here. Um, but right now, we're going to be expanding the staff on our new home. So we want to expand the base. So let's go back to the re Overseer and pick up right where we left off, shall we? So as you recall, we are outside this nice little station over here. This is where I decided to create my base. It's not a uh, uh, a minor settlement or anything like that, but at least it will work for my purposes, right? All right. There you are again, traveler. I'm sure you have the required materials this time. The overseer speaks strangely, implying that we have performed this encounter before. I have no memory of such things. I ask who paid them for this service they are performing for me. <laughs> they laugh and claim they, that my child did many years from now. I do not know what they're talking about. The overseer asked me for the chromatic metal, so we'll go ahead and give him that chromatic metal. We have quite a bit of it. Perfect, friend. I knew you would succeed. Just what I need to finish the science terminal plans. So now we have a science terminal, but we need magne magnetized ferrite. We have littered the universe in our greed, Traveler. This planet is no exception, but there is much that can be done with litter. Make your way to an abandoned structure and ha harvest the data from their terminals. I shall use it to fashion us plans for a storage container. I'm in a little trouble with my voice today. All right. Merchant Agastunan is reflective for a gek. They almost seem to regret the greed that characterizes their people. They wish to make something new from the t remains of the old. Is this just greed in disguise or something new? Whatever their motive, the Overseer claims I will find data for a storage container blueprint in a nearby structure. Of course we'll accept it. You won't regret it, friend. I've marked you a site that seems to be ripe for exploitation. Okay. So, we want to do a couple different things here. We're going to go over here and give ourselves some magnetized ferrite. So, we need pure ferrite for that. <clears throat> we don't have nearly enough. We need, uh, I think, 30, it said. Let me see. 25. We need 25 magnetized ferrite. That's going to be 50 pure. So... Let's see. We have 29 already. I need... 21 because I don't want to carry too much excess I don't have much room in my inventory there we go Let's put that in there put that in there we'll grab our pure ferrite turn it into 25 magnetized can't wait till we get our medium refiner this will make things so much easier Hopefully you've been enjoying the series so far. Good time to say, hey, hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate all your support. There we go. Let's do this. Uh, so we need the science terminal. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it right next to that terminal there. There we go. All right, and that's done. So we'll hire a base scientist in just a moment, but what we need to do is let's search for an abandoned building first. Let's see. Hmm. Ah, that worked. A new scanning might do the trick. What's up, guys? Looks like it's over that way. 22 minutes away. We'll take you instead. Twenty seconds away. <clears throat> Much better. Always want to keep your eye out for, you know, places underneath. You could have a, a derelict ship or something like that you can acquire. Look for those kind of things while you're at it. Uh, abandoned structure, approximate location. Looks like it might be over there. How far away is that? Let's see. It should be abandoned, so that means it'll have eggs and stuff around it. That's definitely not it. OK. 
Okay. We have a lot of frost ward around here, so if we ever get our hazmat gloves, we can go ahead and get that too. Do we fly over it? No, that's economy scanner. Ah, what about just over the other side of this thing? I'd rather do it by ship if I can. Aha! That looks like an abandoned structure to me. Yep, I see eggs. How are we doing on nanites? Not too shabby. We don't really have a lot. So this is a good time to introduce you to... Whispering Egg Farming. So we're going to go ahead and get the Whispering Eggs. Problem is, is that these guys are going to make it very difficult. So, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. So, key to, to harvesting Whispering Eggs is to keep moving. Run to the next section. Keep going. We won't get a whole lot from this one because... Okay. Because, uh... There's not a whole lot, basically. I mean, some of the bigger ones have a lot more. That's it. Run and jump. Run and jump. Stick the landings. <laughs> there we go. I want a lot of these, because... Instead of money, I would like to get, um, yeah, there's nothing there. That one's empty. There's one more there. I'd like to get nanites out of these guys. Because we got the money, right? One more over here. Got it. Any more? I don't see any more. Let's go up. Okay. Okay. And we just take a quick look around, look for any red eggs, and it looks like we got all of them. So let's just wait for these guys to calm down, and then we can go into the structure. Uh, looks like my shield needs to be rebooted. So how many do we end up with? Let's see. Ah, 13 of them. That'll give us a good amount of nanites out of that. The starship shield module. Well, let's go ahead and put it in our starship now. Hmm, 8%. That's at least something. It's not terrific, but it's it's a little bit. Okay, good deal. So how are we doing? All right, we're doing all right. Looks like they should be quieting down here in just a minute. We could just head in head inside. Up oh, there they go. Now they're digging back down, and we're we're done with them. We could kill them, but the uh, yeah, that and sentinel would attack the crap out of us if we did. Okay, we got a that thing in here. There we go. Don't want to make it sure it doesn't slap us. Pick up items while you're here. The terminal is really what you're after. That's what it's referring to. So we'll get to that in a minute. And check the walls real quick. Make sure there's nothing attached to the walls we can take. All right. Looks like we got everything. Abandoned terminal. Let's get rid of the residual goop. User identified. Terminal active. Accessing schematics. The place the Overseer has led me to has long since fallen into disrepair. Its panels are buried beneath the same oily, pulsating fauna that I have seen before in long abandoned buildings. The air is fetid and damp. I pick up the terminal with little hope of success, but to my surprise, it buzzes noisily and springs to life. Analyze schematics. My Overseer's intuition has served me well so far. I shall have to trust that these schematics contain the required data. Okay. Looks like we got what we needed, so let's get out of here. While we're here, save point, get a little of extra stuff out of it. We gotta return to the Overseer now. On our way. So, that worked out nicely. Now remember, we can adjust our settings here, and we can get things, get places a lot quicker by adjusting our engines. You'll have to do it every time you exit and enter your ship, though. Alright. Good thing about this place. They have their own landing pad. There 
There we go. Good deal. All right, let's head in. Talk to the overseer. You're back. I'm so glad, friend. I will extract the storage blueprint as soon as I have the data. It is good to see the Gek is so invested in the success of our home. They are clearly happy to see me, energized for the task at hand. Give the data. Here is your blueprint, as promised. A trivial task. Their code was just sitting there to be manipulated. And we got all of our storage containers, as you can see. Very nice. Now then, do you think, friend, that we should just put the science terminal use? Fill our home with the clicks and lights of the Corvax. It would be so lovely. The Overseer feels the base would benefit from a Corvax scientist. They would like to see good use made of the blueprint they've worked so hard on. Agree. I am so glad we had this chat, friend. Okay, so here we go. So we go back into here. We're expanding the base. We want to get the, the space, the, the scientific person here, the highest scientist that I'm talking about here. So let's go ahead and do that next. So we'll grab our ship. There's our ship. And we'll head up to, looks like the space station actually carries what we're looking for. It does. All right, so why don't we do something a little different here. Let's go back inside. Uh, need to pour our biofuel reactor. What do we got? Running low on carbon, it looks like. And it gives us about 12 hours. And, of course, we do space station, current system, on our way. Warp. We should appear there almost instantaneously. A lot quicker than going by ship. And it looks like the scientists we're looking for is right here. Unknown life form. I passed my test. You. I'm not sure what the E-H-E-U stands for. I think it's more like a, uh, a cheer. Like, yes! You know, something like that. I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base? A science terminal? Think of all that might be done. The Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have just completed some rite of passage for their species, necessitating them to go in, out into the universe and pursue their interests. The scientist offers to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. Let's hire them. You thank, think not of payment. Scanning you while you're asleep will be reward enough, which is not creepy at all. Okay, so we got our scientist. Let's go return to our base. And there we go. The too cold base. Love it. Now it acts like you get there right away, but then it takes its time, so I don't know what that's about. Oh, listen to that. Oh, well, that's crazy. Sounds like I'm looking at my audio levels. It looks like uh, Windows is having its way again with me. So I apologize. I'm going to have to increase my audio. Give me half a second here. There we go. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. All right. So we, we're back to the, the square one. Let's go ahead and talk to the scientists now. A fine base traveler. As, of course, be befits your honorable status. Oh, Corvax shall be so happy here. The Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem able to contain them. Request aid. Honor to witness the monolith of the traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax tribute. Take these contribute, Corvax contrib uh, contribute. I can't think anymore. It's getting a little late. Take these blueprints, lubricant and acid, liquids close to Corvax hearts. Okay, we got lubricant and acid. Fantastic. Traveler, harvest marrow bulb and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you were gone. The Corvax is desperate to please, showering me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me travelers are to be honored, raised above all others. What have I done to earn such esteem? The scientist requires marrow bulb and cobalt, materials found underground. They will be able to use this substance to craft blueprints for microprocessors and advanced refiners. So we'll go ahead and accept that. Joy, our home will be light and our windows will be clean. Okay then. Well, one of the reasons why I like to choose these places is because they're almost always close to a cave of some sort. Which I don't see anywhere. So let's head over this way see what we got. One way to check for caves is just look for anything that can appear underground. 
humming sacks, or things like that. I don't see anything immediately. We do need uh, carbon while we're here, so should probably make sure we grab some while we're at it. Ferrite dust. Wonderful. Okay, take another look. Alright, we're not finding anything in the way of caves. Ah, humming sack. That's where we're headed. So it looks like we got a cave right here. Grab some extra carbon. Nice. Didn't realize we were running so low on it. It's a good idea to grab some while we can, though. Alright, how much we got now? Up to almost 400 carbon, that's good. Alright, looks like we have ourselves a cave. Alright, so first things first, these are what we're looking for. This will give us the cobalt we're looking for. Looks like it's got tritium too. At least that one does. Not all of these are harvestable. Look for the bigger ones. There we go. The other thing we want is we want these. Not sure how much they need, but looks like we need 30 according to our bottom right. There we go. Looks like we got 30. Now there are humming sacks down there. We can, we can harvest them, but there's really no reason to. Okay. We have a little boost to our jetpack. We're going to use it. There we go. Very nice. All right. We got what you're looking for, buddy. Traveler, I prepared your blueprints, but please hurry. Something has happened. The Carvax seems changed from the happy soul they were on my departure. They are fighting their worry, trying to stay focused on their promise to me. Give them the marrow bulb. The Corvax leans forward, anxious for the rest of the materials. Give Cobalt. Corvax has completed the plans, but Traveler, they have... My people have abandoned me. As of 104.32 seconds ago, I lost the hearing and sight. The sight of the Corvax convergence. Ew. He uses that a lot. So we got microprocessor and large refiner now. I seek immediate reconnection. Go to this transmission tower. Enter my soul. Discover what is wrong. Help Corvax with solitude, please. Scientist Entity Tavi is deeply upset, claiming they have been disconnected from the Corvax hive mind. Scientists asked me to take their personality core to a transmission tower for analysis. And he's down. Yep, we know. Alright, so we got blueprints. We can build a large refiner now. Yep, I know. Let's see. I can get a large refiner. I can't do the medium one yet, but I need sodium nitrate. I've got plenty of microprocessors. 42 more sodium nitrate. How much sodium do we have? Hmm. There we go. Let's go ahead and get some. Let's load this up while we're at it. We've got plenty of carbon. Let's do the condensed carbon to keep it fully charged there. So we need 42. Should be done soon. Excellent. And we'll be able to build a large refiner, which means we won't really need this guy anymore. I'll keep him charged up. That was probably the last time I put anything in him. But we'll put the large refiner, like, right over here. Still charging. Okay, good deal. Come on now. Anytime. Good. Okay. So we should have enough to make it. There we go. So now we can do a large refiner. And it's, for some reason, they always place it so it's backwards to you. And I don't know why. So they're big suckers, these things. So there we go. And now, see, in a large refiner, we get three entry areas. So we can put two items in here and combine them into one to give us an output. And you notice there's no charging it. So very, very handy to build one of these. All right, we're all set there. Did we get the other stuff out of there? I think we did. Yes, we did. Okay. 
So we need to go to the transmission tower, which is that way, about 23 minutes. So let's go ahead and take our ship. Which is over here again. All right. Let's see. So to give you a rough idea of how fast we're going, we're doing about 240. And if I hit this to engines, now, now it can do 312. I have a ship on my main save that can do 400, well, 500 units per second when I have that adjusted like that. So that gives you a rough idea how fast you can go with these ships. All right, we need a transmission tower. We all know what that looks like. Let's take a look around. I think we found it. There we go. Now, yeah, I know. I know we're here. That's okay. Did we discover all the animals on this planet? I think we did. No, we still have one more. What was it, an underground? Yeah, it is. All right, we'll have to keep an eye open for them. Who's the other side? Don't understand how that happens. More projectiles. Navigation data will take that too. All right, let's see. Terminal online. I prepare to insert the Corvax intelligence core into the transmission tower. The judgment of the core of convergence awaits. Terminal online. Connection established. Error. Diagnostic. Corvax science unit corrupted by traveler interaction. Personality overridden. Anomaly involvement detected. Solution. Quarantine Corvax science unit from convergence. Observe. Analyze. Silence. Hypothesis. Sentinel. Atlas. Universal foci. Countermeasure in progress. Risk assessment. Entropic. Galactic destruction. Rebirth. Error. Atlas. Error. 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 They see you. Well, that's not creepy at all. Now i got to return to the scientist. Okay, well, that's kind of crazy. Uh, that's to the right. Hmm, interesting. Kind of a high-pitched whine. Fascinating. Okay, off we go. Back to where we started. Ah, interesting. It kept the setting after I entered the vehicle again. So, that's interesting to know. And there is our place. Landing pad. All right. Hey, while we're here, I'll take that. All right, while we're here, and I just remembered this, we were going to do this as well. We want to grab these. See? 250 for five of them. Another 250. Well, let's do the rest. There we go. Another 150. That gives us a good amount. Marrow bulbs will give us sodium. So I might as well get it. All right. I think that should do it for now. I think we have enough taken care of in there. Good. All right. The scientist entity Tavi Shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. Trapped inside the data core. I have no way of knowing how the Corvex has taken the encounter at the transmitter. So reinsert. Shell reconnection in progress. So you can see at the bottom right, it tells us it's going to take an hour and a half of real time to get this done. So it's going to be a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and hold off on doing anything more with him. We're going to go back over to our log, and we can, we can discover something else. Expanding the base. Should we turn to the overseer? Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is inevitable. 
If I had some microprocessors, I could steal a march on fate. Yes, I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armorer. The overseer asked me for microprocessors in order to design a weapons terminal. The scientist should be able to assist with the task. Of course, we'll accept. Merchant Agastunin has been helpful so far, and I have no reason to distrust him. I shall find them the microprocessors they need. So, we need a microprocessor. I don't know if I have an extra. Guess we'll find out in a moment. Let me check my inventory. None there. Doesn't look like I have any more. We can create one, but we need a carbon nanotube. There. Oh, we need two of them. Figures. Okay, so there we go. A return. I trust our new Corvax friend was helpful. They are merely the start of our merry band. Are you ready to take the next step? The overseer asked for the microprocessors so that they can finish the plans for the mic weapons terminal. Give them. You have done so well, friend. I'm so very happy. So there's our weapons terminal. Pugnium, which we got. Chromatic metal. Very good. Now, imagine this, friend. A life form displeases you. You punish it, reward it, reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. So it is with the sentinels and their attacks, but no more. Now we shall train the trainers. The overseer requires me to kill sentinels and bring back their pugnium. Okay? Sentinels have harried me the length of my journey. We shall be free of their constant harassment. We've already got enough, so I'm just going to open for a moment. Why look? Expanding the base. Okay, we got to acquire Pugnum, it says. Give it a moment. I guess that's it. I guess we... Okay, we have it. We acquired the Pugnum, yes. And it should just be a matter of building the terminal, I think, right? Nope, nope, we turn to the Overseer first. Do you have it, friend? Their flesh? Their Pugnium? The Overseer, in something of a state of excitement, asked me for the Pugnium I've gathered. So we give it to him. Merchant Agastunin presents me with a reward, as I knew they would. Friend, there is another matter. I gave you the means to create a weapons terminal, did I not? Did I see no Viking in attendance? Does my help mean so little to you that you would tarry so? You must recruit an armorer before we can proceed. The Overseer requires me to build a weapons terminal and recruit a Viking armorer for my base. We accept. Splendid. I do enjoy our Viking, friend, our Viking friends. We shall all live in harmony, I think. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and build the terminal. Uh, is that over here? Oh, there it is. Looks like we got everything we need. So we're going to do it right. And he sits behind the terminal, so I'm going to pull it a little bit further away. There we go. Okay, that's built. So now we need to get our Viking guy. Where is he? Weapons research. So that's what we need to do. So let's go ahead and do that next. Just kind of chugging along, aren't we? It's outside the local system. Okay, so we're going to have to take our ship and get out of here. And boom. Let's go ahead and go to our galaxy map and take a look. Where do we want us to go? Ah, okay. There it is. We're going to go there to find our guy that we need. Viking armor. All right. So here we go. Okay, looks like a system we've never visited before. So we'll head to the space station here and check things out. So I'm assuming, up oh, there he is, potential armorer recruit. Interesting. Let's see what we can get from this guy. Yep, looks like my audio is still having trouble. Weird. 
There we go. Ah. You, sir. Scout Redoin. Your Gek servant told me you were coming, interloper. It is an honor to meet one whose bloodlust exceeds even my own. Gra, we shall kill together for the glory of Herc and our ancestors. A great sentinel hut begins. Come, let us inhale the requisite Gra Gra. The Viking is old. It is not their skin or appearance that suggests this. These beings are too alien, too unusual for me to, take, to make a judgment on that basis. No, it is the way they hold themselves, the way they speak. They do not posture. When they smile at me and tell me it is an honor to, for us to meet, I believe them. Scout Redowin promises to come to my world and make use of my new weapons terminal. Of course we're going to accept. Gra, I will rejoice in the blood harvest. But tell me, do I need to pay for my own transit? <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we're going to return by going to the terminal here. You know what, though? While we're here, how much? Uh, we got 915 nanites. Let's take a look. I almost got beamed by that ship. That would have been. Now that's an interesting one. Let's go ahead and... We always want to try to uh, expand our exosuit, of course. Uh, let's see. As I said before, we're starting to run out of room up here. We've got our supercharged slots. Let's go ahead and put a slot up here. Let's see what kind of upgrades he's got. Anything worth my while. A life support and radiation protection. Let's get rid of that other life support while we're here. Alright, what about for the ship? Not going to read any of this stuff. There we go. Phase beam. That's it. Finally, our... Yeah. Let's see what the multi-tool has to offer. We've got a mining beam upgrade. Bolt caster and pulse spitter. Hmm. We can only get one. Let's see. What can we use the best? An advanced mining laser. We do have scanners. We've got a bolt caster. Doesn't do the best of damage, but we kind of get want to get more damage. I think more damage is going to be more important to us in the long run, especially if we get into our get ourselves into a firefight. So let's get the bolt caster module. We'll install that. Okay, didn't increase it too too much, but it did. Give us a little decent boost there. As we get more of these two, it'll help. All right. Uh, before we go on the ship, we're going to go take the portal instead. Okay. Back to our base. All right. Now this episode is going to be a, just a mite bit shorter than usual. We're going to probably end this at at least probably no higher than the 35 minute mark. Uh, 45. 45 minute mark. I'm going to get just enough done to get caught up on our missions here. There we go. All right. Armor, he is there. Hello, Scout Redowin. These facilities are glorious, but know that we Viking exterminate worlds that show even the merest hint of weapons production. Consider yourself lucky that I am your friend, Gragra. Violence must be ended. This is the way of Drindarg. This is the way of Herc. When murder is gone, the last weapon fired will be at the Viking ourselves, having served our holy purpose. As a gesture of peace, the armor offers a piece of exosuit technology. They are keen to demonstrate they are more than a simple warrior. Accepted, of course. Gra, wear it with pride. Now, before we begin our work together, there is something we must deal with. My keen eye command would not permit me to reside here and ignore my purpose, interloper. I have discovered a weapons factory nearby, and to sabotage it would demonstrate our worth. 
While you are there, perhaps you may also learn something useful for yourself. I learned that the Viking believed that no other species should be able to hold weapons, that after the atrocities committed by the Gek, only the Viking should be trusted with arms. The armorer gives me the location of a nearby weapons factory, claiming it is operating illegally. If I go there and shut down production, I may be able to extract a valuable blueprint. We're going to accept that. Gra, go with honor, but be wary. The eye of, sentinels, of the sentinels will be upon the facility. All right. So we got radiation protection. It's an A class, so you know what? That, to me, is actually worth it. So I am going to go ahead and put that in here someplace. Let me see. I guess over here would probably be a good place for it. All right, good deal. All right, so our next step is to go there. Looks like it's over that way, about 15 minutes away. Again, we're going to take our ship, which is interfaced with our building at the moment. That way. Okay. See how fast we can get there. We've got about 10 seconds. Five. Do a quick scan. All right. Did we pass over something? No. Looks like there's one over there. No, that's not it either. Let's do another scan this way. Looks like we've got another building right over there. Aha! That's got to be it. Should be a landing pad. There it is. Okay, so this is going to start a little bit of a kerfluffle here. So we're going to see what kind of damage we'll be taking here. Okay, bolt caster it is. I'm going to watch out for these guys. Because I'm in permadeath mode. We don't want to screw around, right? Here we go. Wow, we're here. In we go. Good deal. All right, so we can we can safely take out the swarm that comes at us from inside the facility. And we'll get Pugnium out of those little guys. Good deal. And anything we can get, I mean, honestly, because this will give us a handy, give, give us a hand in getting some... Uh, some of the glass. Hopefully. Yep, salvage glass. That's good. More salvage glass. That's good, too. Last thing I need is reinforcements. to get that one later. Still have to be careful. These things are worth me getting, so I'm going to take the opportunity to get them as I can. There we go. Because the Pugnium is very valuable, too. All right. Let's see what we ended up with. Looks like we got four of these. 
We've got an antimatter. Upgrade for our exosuit. Computer core. And a sentinel boundary map. That's handy. I can shut them down remotely if I want. This I'm going to go ahead and put in here. We'll put it over here. What is it going to give us? Life support and shield strength. That's good. There we go. Get a little boost from it that way. So now I could keep fighting these guys, but you know what? I'm not going to. I think that's enough for me. Permadeath mode. You don't want to mess around too much, right? All right. So we got a good amount of stuff. Let's grab some nanites. Navigation data, which might give us more nanites. Nope. Get that. All right, we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and hit this. Production status, 95% efficiency. The factory was indeed engaged in the production of illegal weaponry, just as if I can claimed I should shut down production and see what can be gleaned from their systems. Okay, so we override the production. New blueprint accepted, beginning fabrication. I override the production line, substituting their blueprints for something more harmless. The factory will produce light bulbs, at least for now. Take a copy of the weapon blueprint previously in production, although I cannot understand it. And we're done. Alright, good deal. Shouldn't be attached uh, attacked as we walk out, so... Good job, I think, all around. Okay, good. We'll go ahead and head back to our place. Which is that way. There we go. And we can check. We are indeed doing 312. So it recalled what our speed was. That's interesting. And we do have a fight coming up later on. The weapons master is going to start one. And we will have to finish it. We can do all five phases, but we'll be really hard pressed to keep ourselves alive. Okay, we're done. Let's go ahead and finish out this last one, and we're going to go ahead and call it here. You have shut down their production, Interloper. Perhaps we shall make it make a Viking of you yet. Confirm. Excellent work, Interloper. Gra. Did you obtain any technology of our, of our own? Here, I will decrypt it for you. We shall continue your training. Weapons are nothing without usage, without the glory of righteous war. Ooh, we get the cadmium drive. Well, that's nice. Steal yourself, Interloper. Pirates have discovered our world. Gra, they will provide practice for your weapons. Attack. Gra, attack. Burn their hives of villainy and sin. Let them know that this is no one's sky but ours. As they tell me of the pirates, the armor begins to shake. I have not seen such passion, such hatred expressed in them for any other being. The armor alerts me to the presence of pirate ships orbiting this world, asking me to go and fight them. I agree. Gra, fight well, Interloper. Destroy them before they draw more sentinel attention to our home world. Okay. So we are going to... Let's see. So this is our propulsion. It's our weapons. This is our anti-gravity. Okay, so this is our boost. What do we need for that? I'm going to hold off on that until we really, really need it. That's our shields. So this is going to be our hyperspace engines here. Why are you there? The pulse engine upgrade. That must be our pulse engine. Oh, this is our hyperspace drive. Okay, very good. So we're going to go over here. Oh, I forgot we had that. Cadmium. We can go ahead and install it right now. So it'll give us a slight boost to our hyperdrive range. Um, I know we don't have a lot of room in here. We'll go ahead and put this in too. And I do want to get our teleport receiver in here now that we have an antimatter and we have enough wiring looms. Excellent. Okay, good. So now we're up to snuff on that. Upgrading this will be a good idea later on down the road. For now, we've got what we need. Excellent. Okay, good. All right, we seem to be in good shape. We don't really need to keep this on our person. Do we have any room for it over here? We do. This should go back to my person. Oh, okay, that's why I had it over there, because I was already at 500. All right, very good. Okay, good. And we do have upgrades for our ship that we can put in here. 
um, but we'll worry about that later. It looks like we've got a good amount of salvage data as well. All right, excellent. So I think we're in good shape. So we can shut down the Sentinels at any point in time that we wish. So that'll be a good thing. We can get some nice uh, weaponry from it, some more Pugnium, things like that. It's a very worthwhile map to have. Okay, so in our next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the weapons research a little bit more. We've already done our cadmium drive, and we let it um, finish recognizing that, I guess. Yes, it did. All right, good. And then we'll go back to scientific research. We'll finish that out as well, and we'll continue to expand our base. And we'll get all these done. We'll get a lot of these done. We'll also work our way up to Outdoor um, Rebel Star as well. And then uh, we'll get some of the other things moving along from there. So I think we're in good shape. We, we've really kind of moved things along uh, pretty well, I would say, as far as our missions are concerned. And we're staying alive. That's the important part. So good time to pose in front of our ship. Just got to do that. And then we can do a quick picture. And this you will recognize from our starting picture. There we go. There we go. All right. So I want to thank you all for watching our episode here. Again, please hit that like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And we will see you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody. And as I like to do at the very end, so long.